Good morning. This is day nine. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Psalm 84 verse 11. Five C's or two G's written by Albert Lee. Young people in Singapore at one time aspired to have the five C's. Cash in the bank, career for the future, car to drive, condominium to live in, credit card to travel with. A newspaper report subsequently indicated that there was now an updated version of the five C's. Connectivity to be tuned in. Choices and the more the merrier. Cheek doing things our own way. Causes because it is hip to help. Consumers who spend first and pay later. Instead of the five C's, Agar, the writer of Proverbs 30, asked for two G's from God, his grace and goodness. He sought the grace of God to remove falsehood and lies far from him. He didn't want to fall into the trap of believing that corrupt principles, practices, and affections are acceptable. Agar also asked for the goodness of God to provide what he needed, no more and no less. He was concerned that poverty could cause him to become covetous, and to disgrace God's name. But he also realized how easily riches could pamper him and cause him to deny the Lord. Which do you desire more? The temporary satisfaction of the five C's or the rewards of God's grace and goodness? Is your desire to honor God's name above all? Let us celebrate together. Lift our voice in one accord, singing of the grace and mercy and the goodness of the Lord. A quote this morning reads, God's grace is infinite love expressing itself through infinite goodness. End quote.